and a um oh i don't have a tusk hi my name is kk and today we're going to be exploring a little bit more of the upper yard but before we do that i just want to talk about some changes i've made at the base the first thing you may notice is i put a bridge here much needed didn't realize i needed it until i started doing a little more building because when i would run through here and grab whatever i needed out of here i would always come this way and then i would just jump across and so I figured, why not do a bridge? This is what turned out. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I also altered this section. It was wider and I made it a little skinnier so this looked a little more open as it did before. And I think that was a really good change as well. But you can see it's a little chaotic because these don't line up on the same plane, but it still works out. And I think it works with what I'm going for on the base here. Like how it kind of narrows in as you cross over. And you also may notice I finished this, almost finished, not completely finished. Uh, definitely not finished on the inside. Outside, I think I might build these up a little bit higher just to kind of have lookout points or height advantages, something like that. But we can walk in here and right off you see we got this big open atrium foyer thing. And then I left a skylight here. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep that. I do like how it looks though. I think it makes it look even bigger inside than it actually is. Uh, this is mostly the same. I might keep my armor stands here. We shall see how that goes. Uh, but I started altering stuff in here. I've got my spinning wheels over here and I more than doubled them. And I think eight is a good place because it's getting me through my plant fibers and it's keeping up my rope supply. I didn't have any issues keeping up rope supply before anyway, and now it's even better. And I also put in this door straight ahead because I am going to put in a building over here. I also changed this bounce web I had to uh, these stairs, to the spiral staircases, because they're kind of useless. Like I still have this one in and I'm probably gonna change it as well because when I just hit the one, you know, it takes me all the way up here. I do, however, still wanna have it to where I can get up top with the bounce webs. So I'll probably implement those in here somehow. Maybe I'll just put it dead center and bounce up top there, we'll see. And then I had this little extra section here, so I kind of elevated it and I think it looks really fun, really nice. I don't know what I'm doing up here yet though. Down here in the bottom floor are obviously gonna be chest and I want most of my machines to be down on the bottom floor so I can easily access them when I go in. But I think that's it for any of the changes I've made since the last video. But what we're doing right now before we go into the upper yard is I wanna go through the uh, sandbox to get a bunch of elements, the elementals as I can. I do also have the quest to do the uh, Burgle flag at Sandcastle Tower, so that's just really convenient. Almost forgot to get to my sombrero to protect myself in the sandbox because it's hot. I also remembered I never collected the other two pieces of the rotten roly-poly armor, and there is one in this maze uh, right here. Yeah, right there. And the other roly-poly piece I did not get is in this one tunnel that's actually connected by two of the holes guarded by the ant lions. It's by this pillar. Um, and if you've done the haze canister already, you'll have this right here. And this is a good indicator that it's right here. Sorry, it's a little dark. I forgot to grab a torch. Hey, I got the shiny salt crystal. It's the first time I've gotten one here. A condensed nugget of elemental force. Simply holding it fills you with power. Plus salty attack. That's perfect for while I'm fighting ant lions. You know, I just realized I actually built this with the bounce web in mind and I actually took the bounce web away from here. I was thinking I would never have to go back on top of there, but oh, thankfully I was able to do that with just two staircases because that's all I could carry was enough for two. At one time, you know, could have gone back and got more when I didn't want to. I would like for you to take a moment and look at my health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was from the bees. They would not leave me alone as I ran up here and they kept stinging me in the butt. I did not want to fight them, but they wanted to fight me. So I don't have any healing left either. So that that's that sucks. I do have food, which will give me a little bit of health back. So I may have to do that. And of course, I can get some Oreos and whatnot. I was hoping my luck would be a little bit better than it was. I only got four mint shards and that is what I was going for, which sucks and then i got 22 spicy shards which is nice i guess and then i ended up getting uh, 47 salt shards which is expected because there's that whole salt tunnel that gives you 40 of them but while i have the antlion armor on i want to go ahead and hop up here to the charcoal and gather some of that because i tend to forget about it and we're gonna need a lot of that eventually didn't even think about the buried treasure in the charcoal pit wow i never rummaged through this skeleton at the charcoal pit it's right here Boop. oh wait I need to clear out some space first. All right, and that one gives you the, the entomologist badge, which gives you an increased attack power and, and perfect block. 
And there's always one benefit and one negative effect. Thankfully, I have a lot of mint shards. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't bother checking before I took off over there. But regardless, it was still good to restock up on my salt supply because I did use quite a bit of that. So let's go ahead and melt down some mint. So when we get over there, we're gonna meet uh, two new creatures that we haven't met yet. And then we're also gonna take on a third one, which is the Scarab, which we have come across. We just haven't fought them yet. But both the new creatures we're meeting, the uh, Dust Mite and the Green Shield Bug, they are weak to fresh and stabbing. So what I'm going to do is make a new Stinger Spear, which I don't have enough Bifas. Oh, good shot, sir. And now we're gonna make another Stinger Spear. Nice. I think I'm also gonna need to make some more upgrade materials. Let's not get too crazy. Nice, all right. And then we're gonna take this one down the fresh path as soon as we get these mint globs out of the oven. Oh, it's done actually. Now we're gonna take this down the mint path for the fresh, yes. We're gonna go ahead and leave the salt one behind because we're not gonna need it. I also wanna make the marksman's cap for the scarabs. Uh, to make it easier to kill them because you want to one shot them because if you don't they run away and it makes it a lot harder to get the second shot in and if you chase them they just burrow underground and they're gone forever so we're gonna make one of these and i've also got some elemental arrows yeah so i've got mint arrows and spicy arrows well I'll grab the spicy arrows because they're weak to every element before we start exploring down in the cracks, I actually want to make my way back over here to this glove because this is, oh, please don't bother me. Uh, this is where you can find the lint for the first time. That's the easiest lint to get and it requires the level three ax. And these things are very bouncy, so you got to collect them quick. Otherwise they're all going to be down there. Now I want to head back over here to where we fought our first black ox beetles because it's just a good place to start when going through these cracks. I'll probably go ahead and take on some more black ox beetles because we're going to need the parts. I hope you spotted me already anyway. So throughout these cracks, there is a lot of buried treasure, uh, just like in the sandbox or up there at the charcoal pit. Man, seven mint shards? Where was that chest earlier? You know, I just realized I forgot to make a torch. So if it gets dark in here, I'm really sorry. Oh, it's a little too dark. Well, we're gonna come back in here because it's even a bit too hard for me to see. Couldn't imagine what you're seeing right now. Probably a black screen. Oh, there you are. And of course there's one of you. Perfect. So right now my goal is to collect the pupil leather, which we're about to hop down here and see a bunch of. I wanna get 14 so that way I can make some new armor and the new hammer. And whenever I get those, that's when I'll head back and I'll make a torch as well. So I can go through that tunnel. This is just one of a few ways you can actually get over here. So here's our first one. So pupil leather is going to be like the berry leather. You have to throw it up on the drying rack for a little bit. But you could, of course, craft it in the same way. It's just a waste. And it's a one-to-one -to, -one to dry it out. And the rewards for these. Oh, I wasn't prepared for you. I don't even have my cap on. Let's just have that ready for the next time we see one because I wasn't ready for that. Of course, this is gonna take time to get everything ready <sighs> because I gotta throw it on the drying rack and it's gonna take some time to dry and turn into leather, but I am going to get everything switched over. You can leave me alone. Uh, to new armor and to a new hammer. And then we're gonna come back this way. So the lint rope recipe, they recently changed to be one to one, which is really nice. Uh, fortunately, I can only do nine and I think I need 11 total to do the full set of armor. And we're gonna go ahead and make an armor dummy for our new armor set for whenever we make it. Oh, nice. I did also make this marksman's cap. Allow me to read it for you. 
a finely crafted hat adorned with an inky black strand of crow feather, well suited for the hero that strikes from a fog. It's got crit energize for the bow, which um, gives you a chance to restore some stamina when you get a critical hit using a bow. Uh, but what's going to be more important is whenever I upgrade it, which I can actually do a little bit that now. I forgot I moved you. Hopefully, do I have some? Oh, yeah. Whew, I have enough. Yeah, so this we're going to take this to Sleek Path because this is going to give you increased bow attack damage, yeah, which is increased damage dealt with bows and crow crossbows by 20%. Yes. That'll also help us resist a little bit of damage. And we got a new quest done, which is to upgrade an armor to a sleek. And right now all we're waiting on is this pupil leather. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, I did already gather everything I needed to make the turret up here. I was going to do this while waiting, but still going to do it anyway, even though the stuff's done. But what I'm trying to decide is whether I want to build a turret up here where I have the roof, which I think could be a better idea because I have a little more access or clearance around the, the roof peaks and stuff, as opposed to up here, which I wouldn't have quite as much. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of you. Yeah, so that way it squares off here and we don't have it jutting out like this does below it. And then our first turret, which we're going to place right here in the center and build. Nice, so that knocks off that quest that I've had for a minute. And I do have to get a storage chest nearby here so I can fill up the ammo and have it nearby. Still don't have a lot of clearance looking down though. So this is definitely gonna be for air defense. But since we have everything complete, the pupil leather and the rope, I mean, we're gonna go ahead and craft all the good stuff. And first thing we wanna start off with is doing the block, the black ox hammer. Nice, much needed. Definitely gonna upgrade that in just a moment. And for the roly poly armor, I don't have enough to do all three pieces. So we're gonna skip out on the helmet for now because we're gonna be wearing the marksman's cap anyway. And so that just works out really well. But we do want the roly-poly breastplate, and we want to go ahead and get the roly-poly greaves, or leg plates, which is where we need the lint rope. Done. And the insect hammer is going away. You have been very kind to me, sir, and it's time for you to go. And now we're going to upgrade the insect hammer, or not the insect hammer, excuse me, the black ox hammer. And we're just going up to level 5, because I don't know what I want to put on it yet. So for the armor pieces, when you upgrade these, going up the sleek path does give you block strength, which increases your block gauge, which isn't necessarily important if you're just doing the perfect block, which I always try to go for, and it sometimes backfires and end up taking a lot of damage. So I think for the roly-poly, I'm just going to go beefy all the way, or bulky, excuse me, because I do want that extra defense and the extra durability uh, to be boosted up as much as I can. And since we have the sturdy plating, I am going to go ahead and take it up to level seven. And it's going to be the same thing with the greaves and the helmet, or excuse me, the leg, plate, leg plates and the helmet. I'm just going to take it up the bulky path. And I guess for the marksman's cap, there's no reason for me not to take that up to level seven. I don't know why I didn't prior to now. All right, so we finally made it back and these uh, black ox beetles have already respawned. So one thing about using the roly-poly armor is it is a heavy armor set, so it's gonna use more stamina. And so to go ahead and get set up before we get in here to the dust mites, I am gonna keep this loadout similar to my Ant Annihilator loadout. I am gonna turn that off. Obviously we don't need it, but I wanna go ahead and put in the buff longs, which gives me increased stamina, uh, simply because of what I said before, the heavy armor set is gonna take that away, or it's gonna use more stamina, so I want more of it back. In this little tunnel, I didn't explore last time because it's so dark in here. Now, I don't remember what's down here. I'm not entirely sure what we're about to come across because I think I've only actually been through this tunnel once. Oh, but I see a rock to explode and some stuff to break. So we'll come back to that rock in a minute. Oh, termites are down here. Lovely. Not prepared for the termite fight. Hey, I got the gold card for the termite workers. Well, I mean, it's nice to have the termites out of the way, I guess. Oh, it sounds like there's more up there. It looks like you can only progress through this tunnel by going through the cracked rock. So let's go ahead and take you out. Oh, I guess I gotta wait for you to spawn. Thank you. Oh, there are too many of those. All right, so back here behind this rock, you see a little glowing light. Make sure to bust this one out because there is indeed a scabby hidden behind there. So when you're going through here, there are obviously things up there uh, that you have to kind of jump down from the top to get to. I think there are other ways to get to it. You can probably parkour your way to it. For example, there is a bit of quartzite up there. We are actually able to hop all the way up here. Did not think that was going to be possible, but it is. 
Lots of candies, a lot of elementals through here. It's very nice. I'm gonna put back on this mutation loadout because we should be coming up on some dust mites pretty soon. There we are, there's some. Let's go ahead and peep those. And you can see they're weak to stabbing and fresh. Oh, hey, there's another one. One of the most annoying things about the dust mites though is the fact that they scare the scarabs. But they do have two attacks. You saw the first one there. They shoot a projectile dust cloud at you. And if you're stuck in that dust cloud, it does slow you down. As you can see, my movement speed drops every time we get in there. And they do have a, another normal bite attack. It's like the uh, just the regular mites jump attack. It's pretty similar to that. Of course, it does more damage. So there's stuff up here, and there's a tooth around here, and there's raw science. This is kind of like the best laid out path for getting this stuff up here. Just a little parkour trail. It's pretty fun. <laughs> So now there is some stuff over there. Let me see. Oh yeah, this should work fine. Oh, well, doesn't work if you miss. So far it does seem like you can actually get to every bit of this upper level section from being down here. So I think I was wrong about that. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. And that is pretty much the cracks in the ground. I was really hoping I would have uh, spotted a scarab by now, just so we can take one out. Oh. I completely forgot about the ladybirds being up here. Let's give you a peep. So you can see they're... Uh, peep. Give you a peep. So you can see they're weak to busting and fresh, but I am going to use the mint mace. Because I do think they have a little bit of weakness to generic as well. Um, and then we want to switch up to this. So as far as their attacks go, they have the bite and the, the charge and the side hit and the... Uh, like the little rodeo back bucking thing. And then they have a slam combo. Pretty close to just the regular ladybugs, except they out. That's their slam combo. Well, it's not prepared for that. And then they can do a little bit of healing like that as well. But yeah, so similar to the, the ladybug, just uh, does more damage. But thankfully we are rocking roly poly, almost a full set of roly poly. And it made that fight for the most part, relatively easy. What was that? I think there's one stuck in here. Can you come out? There you are. You broke my marksman's cap. I didn't even get to use it yet. Did not do quite as well that time. Oh, I'm not picking up parts. Inventory is full. Definitely want these ladybird shells. Didn't even realize I didn't grab them. All right, so the inventory is full. Um, I do want to get as much as this as I can. This is a good place to gather the pupas, but I think I'm going to head back and repair my marksman's cap because I didn't even get to use it. But you can shoot these guys down, or as I like to do, if you're within range of it, you can throw the axe at it. Yeah. Bruh. However, if you miss, like I just did, you have to wait for it to fall back down. So... I am going to shoot them all down. Champion of the sun. <laughs> so just for shiggles on this guy, let me actually heal first. Um, I'm going to see how well I can do with a hammer. All right, I mean, it's not doing too bad. The attack is definitely really slow, uh, but I mainly am doing this so I can block because I do have the Barbarian mutation on, which I should, I guess I could just turn it off so that way I can use the mallet and not be too worried about it. My uh, little raw science detector over there is a little bit broken right now because it won't get off of this raw science. I haven't upgraded this past level five either. And I don't know how useful the explosive resist will be. Yeah, I mean, it does exactly what it says. It's going to give you some resistance to explosive damage, but I don't think that's necessary. So I don't think any of the gas creatures inflict explosive damage. I could be wrong, but I think the best option here is to just take it up the bulky path and get the defense and durability up. Of course, there's the option of using gastro goo. That way I don't have to sacrifice any armor pieces but I'll probably forget to use it. So I'm just gonna stick with a gas mask for now. And we're gonna head back and hopefully fix my scabby scanner at the bottom, because that's a little irritating, actually. I forgot to make more food. And while my food is cooking, we can talk about some new stuff we unlocked. First one being the fluffy pupa hat. This is like the red ant armor, except for this gives you a plus five hauling strength, whereas the 
The red ant helmet gives you only plus two, so it's definitely beneficial to have. I am gonna throw this up on here, just as my working set, so that way I can carry a little bit more. You know, I completely forgot about the Salt Morning Star. This would have been a pretty decent weapon to be taking on the Dust Mites with. But I'm gonna stick with the, the spear for now. We've made it back. <sighs> and as I've mentioned before, I am getting into territory that I'm a bit more unfamiliar with. Uh, so I don't know like where all the hidden stuff is in the upper yard. So I do have to take some time and uh, explore. Do you know that there are a bunch of spiders by this tire? So I love that they put this Coke can under the tire. Cause I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I would like to put a Coke can on the tire because it would make it sound like an engine. Very cheap, crappy engine, of course. But like as you ride, it would have like that. Brrrr. It was fun. It was good stuff. And I love that they did that because that's kind of nostalgia for me. But anyway, this is how you get up on the porch or one of the ways you get up on the porch. There's another way you can get up there from the wood pile. Sam Squatch dirt bike. Makes me think of uh, Rick and Morty. Squatch. You know, I just remembered I do actually have this main quest uh, to locate Wendell Scabby. And that is up here on the porch as well, so we will be doing that. All right, so up here on the porch, the there are black ants and there are mites over there on the mat that you can't see right now because it's too far to render in. But every single black ant on the porch is immediately aggressive, including the worker ants. So be ready for that when you hop out here. And another infected wolf spider. Still have not killed one of you yet. May try it soon. Just gonna run away from them at the moment. Hey, I just realized it got fixed. Science. Raw science. I do believe there are mints in that cup we're about to go get. And I do have a quest to take on three of these black soldier ants. <laughs> hey, got the suspicious ice cap. A condensed nugget of elemental force. Simply holding it fills you with power. And so that gives you a bonus fresh attack. All right, so this is what's happening right now. You know, it'd be really cool if they added like elemental explosives. Yeah, I don't know why I wasn't doing that before. I just can't use this against the soldier ants because I do believe I won't be able to do as much damage to them. But I need, do need to kill one more. I don't like the fact that you two are walking together. Oh no, I'm still doing some decent damage to you. You know, it's not my intent to kill every black ant up here, but that may just happen because they won't stop coming. And this definitely was the better option using the mint mace, even though, yeah, it says they're resistant to fresh, so I guess they're not that resistant, maybe 25%, because it is doing significantly more damage than I was doing with the spear, which is also fresh. That makes a lot of sense. I wasn't thinking about that. Believe it or not, ant, you are not my goal right now. All right, I guess this is also the answer to these guys right now. Oh, man, it's slow, but it's effective. Oh, man, those are annoying. You had a bunch of lint, though. Uh, I think between the lint I just got and the pupa I got earlier, I should definitely be able to make the helmet because my marksman's cap is about to break anyway. And I'm not able to utilize it, and so I think I'm just going to have to re-equip it whenever I am ready to go on the hunt for the scarabs. But right now, I am going to go ahead and make my way up to that scabby. To get the main quest along, get bleh, to get the main quest moving along. Oh yeah, another new material you can get somewhere. Right here, you see these flakes. You can break these up with a level three hammer and get rust. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Oh, that's so useless. But it's not. It has many purposes. One of them being a fantastic spear. And for this to be a little easier, you do want to get your speed up. So I did just switch over to my speedy mutations. And this battery, uh, don't jump on those. They will kill you. They will electrocute you, regardless of how strong your build is. I just want to run back here and get this field station discovered. It's been discovered. So there are a bunch of ants up here on the chair as well, which sucks because I really want to get that spicy shard. And if I really want to get it, I mean, I'm going to go get it. And I'm absolutely going to risk uh, taking a lot of damage because I want it. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you. I promise. Oh, you knocked the rest of them off. How did you get up there? That's what I was trying to do. Excuse me. All right, so you just want to go full sprint off this and then dandelion tuft at the apex of your jump. Yep, and we made it. Perfect. There's also going to be another new material in here which is not disgusting by any means. And yes, you are reading that correctly. That does say toenail. Yeah. And yet another new material known as the Sour Wormhole. This is our fourth candy element, or it's not really the fourth candy, it's the third candy, fourth element, because salt isn't really a candy. 
But anyways, here we are at the watch. This is the main quest that we have not been participating in in quite some time because we've been doing a bunch of random stuff. Scabby online. Hello, my scabby wearing friend. This will be my last adventure into the miniature world. This is Dr. Wendell Tully signing off. Goodbye. Honestly, that tape was really sad. Anyway, we're gonna hop down here and grab this raw science off the bike handle, and I'm also gonna collect the gum. And then we're gonna hop down there and collect the candy that those stupid ants knocked off. And then we're gonna move along, we're gonna finish up the top of what I can get right there, and then move down to get the whatchamadoo jigger. Green shield bug, wow, forgot what you were called. So that tooth that's popping up right now is down there. I do believe it's in a broken pot, uh, but we gotta fight the dude first. The infected wolf spider, and like I said, I haven't done that yet, so I don't know how prepared I am. Oh, my marksman's cap just broke. I think it's not too much of a concern, because I am going to be switching to the gas mask anyways when I get down to the green shield bug. But I'm going to go ahead and hop up here. We can't do this uh, fight in here yet, which this is where you get to the mantis, because uh, I haven't discovered the recipe. And <laughs> uh, plus, I'm nowhere near ready enough to take on the mantis. Definitely need to have a lot higher gear to do that. But this is how you get into the mantis fight. And I actually don't remember where to find the recipe at, so I'm gonna have to figure that one out. So those pots on the porch, so there's a way to do it without building. And you come over here to the, back to the termite mound, and then you can jump up on this little splinter section. Yeah, just like that, and jump up here, and then jump up just like this. So there is one thing about doing it this way, uh, you do have to do it multiple times. It takes a lot of concentration. I've only got one tuft left, which sucks. I'm gonna need to go get some more, but you need to sprint. There we go. So there is a tooth in here, which I do find to be more important. All right, and now we gotta head back and do that one more time. All right, so I just learned you can actually make that jump without using a dandelion tuft, which is nice. <sighs> well, I fell off. Wow, I missed some quartzite right here. And now we've made it to the last pot. She can drop right in and collect our quartzite. This really should have been level three for how hard it was to get here. Okay, so I do believe that was everything up here on the upper porch. And now we just want to hop down and fight the green shield bug, but I don't want to do it in the dark. Uh, cause it does get pretty dark down there. I got everything to make a bed and then I couldn't even make it up here. What are you doing down here? I can make a bed in here. <laughs> so there are caps down here. I totally forgot about this gun. And then these caps, which you can get, oh, wrong, wrong tool. Um, you can get gunpowder from. Now, in my experience, these are glitched out. And when they respawn, uh, it's like a new cap just spawns on top of it and eventually you can't even get the gunpowder out of it anymore. There you are. We gotta peep the green shield bug. So this is just a stronger stink bug and it's coming our way, I'm not ready. Oh, all right, you are coming my way now. So here we go. So other than that um, little gas expansion attack, I guess, they only have like two main attacks. They have the bite and then they have that little leap gas attack. And I they don't really bite often, if I remember correctly. All right, I say that and you already did it twice. All right, so I think I was completely wrong about how often they bite. So I'm not really sure what I was worried about with this fight. It's way too easy right now. Ouch. I say ouch and it like didn't even do a lot of damage. So there we go, got two green shield bug parts. And that was that fight that I was eagerly waiting for. And if you wait in this area long enough, there will be some scarabs that show up. I think it's like two. I have actually had the green shield bug kill the scarab before. Uh, it just like, kind of ran through its gas attack and like died really fast. Maybe that's the trick is using gas on them. If I have the weaponry to do so, I think I may go ahead and try and take on one of these infected wolf spiders. Busting, fresh slashing. Yeah, so obviously I use the mint mace. Whew. This, I feel like this fight is going to be significantly harder than the um, the green shield bug fight. Also, don't have the roly poly helmets. Maybe this fight should wait. I don't know. I'm just too tempted to try it now after that fight. Too much confidence. 
maybe it actually would have been beneficial to put the uh the blast damage resistant on resistance on the um, gas mask uh, but let me set up a mutation loadout that i feel will be adequate to this i don't know if barbarian's the best option to go with here but i'm going to buff longs meat shield i think those are good coup de grass is a good idea shocking dismissal may be fine let's see what my other options are right now oh wait mithridicism i want mithridicism on Ah, uh, what are you doing here? See, the hammer's so slow, and especially with these guys, like, I can't even get a, like, a full three-hit combo in because you attack significantly faster than I do. Oh, well, I got one in just then. Perfect timing, too. So, anyway, where was I? I need to remember to put Daredevil on since I don't have any tufts, and there's a good chance I'm just going to, like, jump off a, an edge or a ledge and not even think about it and see if I can clear out around the area before I fight you. <laughs> So I do think my best bet is to pull you back this way, away from all the explodey bits over there, because I'm already gonna have to deal with enough explosion. Kinda wanna try and sneak up behind you. I'm gonna go ahead and pop one of these bandages. Oh, you move so fast. Oh, let me uh, run away from you. Nice. Oh no, why would I run out of stamina right now? Okay, big damage for the win. Okay, well that feels really good, getting that done. I, again, overestimated the enemy, underestimated myself, something, some kind of combination of that. Leave me alone. Wait, what are you? Fire ant. Oh, I wanted to block. Oh, leave me alone. Okay, so that's the fire ant. Obviously, we'll, we'll talk about those later because we're not ready to take those on yet. And again, who knows? I could probably take you out pretty easily. This woe mode run is feeling kind of simple with the slow play. Taking the time to build up and then move in. Oh my God. I don't want to fight anything right now. I just want to go home. Oh man, green shield bug. Um, oh, you're still on me. Wow, relentless. Oh, I don't have any stamina. And I, um, oh, I don't have a tough. Oh, that is almost death. Please, please, please do not kill me. <laughs> oh, leave me alone, everybody. Oh, God, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, green shield bug and uh, going in the water. And the infected wolf spider, done. Porch to the deck, done. Almost dead. I got a little scary. Did I, didn't I say something about putting Daredevil on when I left there and I uh, didn't do that? I need to remember to put Daredevil on. Okay, so feels good. Back at base, feels safe. Got a bunch of good stuff. Uh, I've been playing for a little bit longer than I intended to be playing. So we are going to end this kind of quickly and we'll talk about everything else next time. Hopefully I remember to do so. But if you have enjoyed this video and you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I really appreciate it. You are wonderful for that. Uh, but feel free to like it. Also subscribe if you haven't done that. I really appreciate it. I am trying to become more consistent with my content. And also you can follow me on Twitter at DJKK. I'm going to eventually start posting updates there once I get a little bit more of a following. But until next time, I'll see you.